very good morning to you and welcome to Leaving Up. Today is Health and Wellness Monday and today we are at Yaya Center, the Avani Cosmetic and Dermatology Clinic. We are here to talk about matters skin and we are here to see Dr. Pranav Pancholi. Dr. Pranav Pancholi, I hope I say that one right. So yeah, and uh, hi, how are you? Hi, I'm very well, thank you, how are you? I am great, we here to see Dr. Pancholi. Yeah, Dr. Pancholi has been expecting you. My name is Judy, and your name is Kindly? Mikali. Mikali. Yes. Okay, you're very much welcome. Just go straight in and see the doctor. All right, thank you. So thank you so much for having us, uh, Dr. Fancholi. It's, it's a pleasure to be here today. It's a pleasure to have you. Okay, so today we're talking about acne. We're dealing with skin uh, for, I think, two episodes. So we're looking at acne from a teenage all the way to adults. And the other question would be, what really causes acne? So acne is caused by a hormonal imbalance. We have these glands known as sebaceous glands that are responsible for secreting oil. Now. Both uh, males and females have estrogen and testosterone, and there's normally a balance. Yeah, so if there's a certain amount of testosterone and a certain amount of estrogen, or your male and female hormones. Now, if for whatever reason you get slightly more testosterone, then this puts a signal to the sebaceous glands to start secreting extra oil. So one of the first things you get is oily skin. And then after that, we get blocking of the pores. So our dead cells, oil, dirt, dust, sweat, it mixes and it forms a plug on your skin pores. Once this happens, then the oil cannot secrete normally. And what happens is the oil then gets blocked under the skin and it becomes a big, ripe, juicy pimple. And then bacteria comes to digest this pimple. So that is why we get acne with pus and oil secretion and blocking of the skin and things like that. Okay. You know, most of the people think that probably they get acne because of the things they eat or probably they're not taking care of their skin. So is that true or it's basically what you no, say? No, no, no. Now, um, acne is due to, this is what happens, but why do we get this change in hormones? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Stress, weather change, diet, travel, anything that um, puts a disruption in your internal milieu mm -hmm. can cause acne. Also, some studies have shown that eating oily, fatty, sugary foods also brings about acne. And in some of my patients, what I've noticed is um, taking dairy products has also shown to have a link with acne. Okay. Is there anyone who's prone to getting acne than others? Teenagers. Teenagers. Yes. And the, what about the adult acne? You know, you probably did not get acne when you were a teenager because of the hormonal imbalance. It's really high at that point. So you're an adult and you didn't go through that. What really now causes you to get adult acne? Is it the same thing? Yes, it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. An imbalance in hormones. Sometimes there's a condition known as polycystic ovarian syndrome whereby you get cysts in the ovaries and these cause um, an abnormal hormonal balance and what this does is um, it causes acne, hair growth and you start putting on weight. So sometimes you notice people will also start getting facial hair which then we would need to treat with laser to remove permanently. Okay. Now, when you talk about acne, the one thing that comes to mind is a woman. That's the one thing. Is it is it a woman thing, or do men also suffer from acne? No, men suffer from acne as oh, well. Yeah. yeah. And is the same procedure, the same process, uh, causing acne, the same factors? Absolutely. Okay. Now, let's talk about this person who's really, who really has acne. How do they go about, you know, taking care of themselves and knowing what to do? Um, one of the things that you'll be told is if you have a zit. Do not go ahead, you know, pressing it to, you know, get the pass out. Mm -hmm. How are you supposed to handle um, a person with acne or how are you supposed to handle the zits yourself? Mm -hmm. When you have these big zits and when you press and push, it is infected with bacteria and things like that. So you're actually pushing it deeper into the skin. Mm -hmm. And what this does is it causes scarring. 
treatment. So if you have acne and you're not yet ready to see the dermatologist, then what I would recommend you do is um, use some over-the-counter preparations like benzoyl peroxide and you just rub it ah. on the skin. Yeah, really? Because people do all sorts of things out there. People are scrubbing and using all this facial, going for a facial every now and then. So that's not, is it recommended for you to do that? There's certain facials that you can do mm -hmm. and um, our most popular treatment for acne and acne prone skin is something known as the hydrofacial. Come, let me show you. Okay. Uh -huh. So this is Eunice and she's one of our therapists. Hi Eunice, how are you? Yeah. Oh, I see you're all. Okay. Yeah. And this is Angel, one of our patients. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, you can see that she has a few dark spots, pigmentation, mm -hmm. irregularities, mm -hmm. a little bit of oiliness around the T-zone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So these are all the things that we want to work on. And the first thing that we do is we take a picture of the patient here yeah. of the before yes of the before but oh, this is a camera yes so oh. this is a camera okay. and you can see the live picture so you, what's the, what's the importance of doing or taking the pictures once we take the pictures then we know mm -hmm. yeah how the progression is with the acne and everything because sometimes with acne scars and things like that. It takes time. It's not a magic wand. Mm -hmm. and to make sure that they can see and understand and appreciate the results, we take before pictures and mm -hmm. then every time the client comes in for a treatment, we take after. And yes. That's really good. So what happens immediately after you've taken the photos? What we do with the hydrofacial is, mm -hmm. first we do a lymphatic drainage to remove all the toxins and then after that we cleanse, extract, mm -hmm exfoliate hydrate we do a micro peel using fruit acids mm -hmm. and then after that we have some led lights mm -hmm. to help rejuvenate the skin and uh, uh, kill the bacteria all these in a day can i walk in and walk out i saw that yes. in the video get in get out yeah walk in walk out it's uh, it's a 45 minute uh, signature facial does it depend on how um how um the acne is or Yes, uh, there's, there's different protocols mm -hmm. that uh, are followed depending on what condition it is that we are trying to um, uh, treat. Okay. Is it okay to wear makeup? You know, most of the acne people say that makeup is clogging the pores that are really clogged. So is it okay to wear makeup? Mm -hmm. It depends on what kind of makeup you oh, wear. Really? Okay. And uh, what, what would you suggest in terms of makeup? Is there a particular makeup that I think people should be looking for? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you want to wear a mineral based makeup. Mineral based? Yeah. Okay. You want to wipe the face at night before you go to sleep. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't block the pores and go to sleep. You need to let the skin breathe. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that's the first. Then they need to come back again for this particular treatment. How many times are they supposed to come back to just make sure that um, the acne is cleared? Or does it depend? Yeah, it depends on the severity of the acne mm -hmm. and um, how they are reacting with this treatment. Mm -hmm. um, uh, sometimes people need three to four treatments. Sometimes they need roughly around six treatments. Six treatments. That means when I get in after six treatments, my face is clear. Most of the cases. Most of the cases. And what kind of care should I give my face immediately after I get this, um, this treatment? Okay. Now, obviously, you want to avoid dusty atmospheres. You want to use mm. sun protection. Mm -hmm. you, you can use over-the-counter acne products. Sometimes we give you acne products. Mm -hmm. Avoid oily, fatty, sugary exercise. foods. Exercise? Uh, exercise is good. But then with exercise, you sweat. Oh, so yeah. you need to cleanse the face properly okay. after that 
So um, you talked about cleansing, and there's something about people who can, or they have uh, some of their faces. They try to use the um, cleanser, moisturizer uh, every day to just make sure that their face is clean. Is that, is that advisable? Uh, it, is, it, it is advisable, mm -hmm. but you want to use products that contain glycolic acid and salicylic acid. They need to be very particular. Yes. Okay. So we're cleansing the skin right now mm -hmm. and at the same time we're delivering vitamins, minerals, antioxidants and acne medication into her skin. At the same time she looks yes. like she's removing something. Yes, so while she's removing mm -hmm. you can see that there's two wire, uh, tubes here. Yes. One tube brings in all the antioxidants and medication and mm -hmm. the other one sucks everything out. Oh yeah, I can see that. So this is the cleansing bit. Yes, so this is the cleansing bit. Mm -hmm. And you can see there are all these different solutions mm -hmm. that we use over here. Yeah. So these are different anti-acne, um, vitamins, minerals, medication, antioxidants mm -hmm. that are being infused into her skin. And then we have certain booster pads. So these are different boosters mm -hmm. for acne. We have some that are anti-aging. Yeah, so there's a, a lot of different things that we can do with the hydrofacial. Laser treatment, does that mean when I'm, when I'm told I need the laser treatment that my acne is really, really developed or it's severe? La laser treatments are used mainly for acne scars. And I'm sure you've seen a lot of people that have been scarred. You see a lot of holes yes. and yeah, like it's just, um, it looks like a lot of potholes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so for that then, we do laser resurfacing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for active acne, you're better off doing a treatment like the hydrofacial. The hydrofacial. So the laser treatment, is that available here? And yes, uh, it is. Yes, it is. Okay, can we take a look at that? This is the Pixel CO2 laser. Mm -hmm. It's a fractionated carbon dioxide laser. And uh, this is used for treating acne scars. Mm -hmm. Every patient or client has their own sterile tips. Yeah, I can see it's sealed. Yes. Completely. Yes. Yeah. And so for everyone that comes in, you use a new one so these are all disposable so when you change after the cleansing what's the next step yeah so after the cleansing we do a micro peel this solution is going to be inserted into the handpiece we're applying a combination of uh, glycolic and salicylic acid mm -hmm. and Angel I'm sure that in a, a little bit you'll feel a little bit of tingling on the skin mm -hmm. don't worry this tingling is fine mm -hmm. um, this is because we're, um, we're trying to digest the top layer of skin oh. yeah and digest all the black spots uneven spots and allow fresh and healthy skin to grow from underneath this treatment for acne is pretty expensive and maybe Kenyans need to know that it's affordable it's actually available yes. so is it affordable uh, the treatments range from between 10 to 15 thousand that's quite affordable yeah, yeah for uh, a lifetime of glowing skin and looking good yeah, why not absolutely yeah and it's readily available yes this is really really mm -hmm. good so what happens after you've uh, put that layer on actually scrubbing the skin and then for some conditions mm -hmm. you need it to be more rough if you have a sensitive skin then the tip needs to be a little bit smooth yeah okay yeah i think that's very important because some people have very very sensitive skin and uh, the adult acne that's that's something that um, i met someone who had an adult uh, had adult acne and uh, eating healthy for them changed their uh, the situation especially the acne and it's, it's reduced to a minimal so can you is that an option if you don't want to go through this? Of course, yeah? of course. Mm -hmm. um, avoid oily, fatty, sugary foods, exercise, yeah? Mm -hmm. And uh, try and maintain a well-balanced lifestyle. Mm -hmm. If uh, your acne is due to stress, do some yoga, meditation, breathing exercises, and you'll be able to see a change. And if you don't see a change, then you can come and you can seek medical. That's attention. Absolutely. I think that's very, very important. Any other facilities in the equipment that we can look uh, at? Yes. As Angel continues getting yes. her treatment? Yes. Okay. We can show you a few. The other one? Yes.
this machine is known as the Soprano Ice. Mm -hmm. This is um, this laser won an award for the world's best hair removal system. So with this, we are able to remove hair permanently. What about the ladies that have um, a bit of beard? Yes, absolutely. This is the same machine that they can use. Yes, this is a solution. Okay, what is that? Yeah. So. Um, uh, the, this is blue LED therapy, mm -hmm. so we are actually now using blue light. Now this helps to rejuvenate the skin and destroy um, uh, the acne causing bacteria known as Propionibacterium acnes mm -hmm. at the same time. How long is the session? Around 45 minutes. Around 45 minutes. And then six more times and repeat to go. Yeah. Okay. And that is a very interesting treatment. What is it called? It's called cool sculpting. Cool sculpting? Yes. Uh huh. And with cool sculpting, I'll show you a result. You see this belly? And look at that one. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And this is without surgery, no liposuction. Yeah. And um, these are just some of the advantages of this treatment. No anesthesia, no pain, no downtime no side effects and you have results within six to sixteen so weeks. actually not going to the gym and getting the same results gym can be tiring <laughs> yes this targets the certain pockets of fat yeah like the love handles the yeah. belly i call them the hello goodbyes yeah the, the goodbyes yeah. when you say goodbye they're still yes. left saying goodbye yeah yeah <laughs> and then the bra bags mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. the saddle bags so we're able to treat most of these with the cool sculpting and the accent ultra machines. That's really, really impressive. I did not know that that was in Kenya. So it looks like Avani is way ahead of time in terms of technology. When it comes to technology, uh -huh. we are right at the top, Absolutely. Kenya as a country, because of Avani. That's really good and we're glad to be here today. Now, we talked about acne and we just saw Angel get treatment on the face. We've seen acne sometimes um, on the chest. Is the same treatment uh, done on the chest? Yes, mm -hmm. in some cases yes, in some cases there are other treatments. There are creams, prescriptions, tablets, um, uh, chemical peels that can be done. Oh, yeah. um, so it just depends. But acne is common on the face, yeah. the chest, the arms mm. and the back. Is there a chance of going through the treatment and the acne disappears and then it reoccurs again? Yes, it can. Yeah, if you don't take care of yourself? If you don't take care of your skin, mm -hmm. yourself or mm -hmm. if you have metabolic or hormonal imbalances, then it can still recur. And then we need to find out why it's recurring uh -huh. and put a solution to stop it from Oh, uh, yeah, because I was going to ask, how do we stop this metabolism and hormonal thing yes. from, uh, you know, going back to having you know, mild or acute acne. So yeah, there's a way to do that? Yes, sometimes we need to use stronger medication, mm -hmm. um, stronger treatments like the chemical peels, uh, Accutane. So there's, there's a lot of other treatments that we can do. Absolutely, that's really, really yeah. good. So we've, we've talked about Avani and how big and uh, we are lucky to have Avani in Kenya. And uh, where can people find Avani, the different uh, locations? And um, number, contact, are you on social media? And there's one clinic at Yaya Center on the fourth floor. Mm -hmm. Then at Park Suites in Parklands on the ground floor. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, the website is www.avenayclinic.com. Mm -hmm. And on uh, Facebook, it's Avenay Dermatology Clinic. Okay. Thank you so much for having us. If you say 10 to 15,000, you can get one session. Yes on your way to getting a better skin. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Victoria, for having us today. You're welcome. It's it been was a, a pleasure. pleasure. <laughs> okay. Well, this has been the Avani Clinic, and we've been talking to Dr. Pranav, and we've been talking about acne, and what to do, what are the things that you need to do if you have acne, and where to go and get medication. Make sure that you clean your face, make sure that you exercise, make sure you cleanse, make sure you eat right. All of those things put together will ensure that you have an amazing, amazing skin. This has been Living Up Up in Yoga with Kali. We're taking a very short commercial break. When we come back, we'll have Brian Suma on the Sport.